All right, hello everyone. Join me for, I thought I had the camera on and I didn't, but I'll run you through what I did. I took a giant bowl, um, the biggest bowl that I have, which is this one, okay? <laughs> this one, I put six cans of green beans inside here, a big can of cream of mushroom soup. I took the spring onions that I had from the food bank, diced those up, put a, gu a cup of milk, um, about a half a cup of soy sauce, and half of the can of the um, french fried onions all in this bowl and mixed it up really, really well and poured it into the dish for the green bean casserole. And then I'm going to cover this up, put it in the oven and bake it for about 25 uh, about 25 minutes and then I'm going to stir it up a little bit pull it out stir it up a little bit and then put on the rest of the onions on the top and then bake it another uh, five minutes in the oven and so that is my routine for the green bean casserole and then I'm going to bring you over here and we're going to start the um the sweet potato casserole all right everyone i'm bringing you in to show you today has been an eventful day okay my i thought i was filming i wasn't filming i did that twice already today so i'm gonna bring you in and show you the results of what is going on okay we'll start with bringing you over here this is a sweet potato casserole that I have ready to go here. And we are now coming in, I'm so sorry about this. We are now coming in to the crumble part of the casserole. And we are going to add in melted butter, um, some brown sugar. Get the brown sugar. And it says um, two thirds cup of brown sugar. So and that's about two thirds cup. Okay. Um, we are going to put the brown sugar. We are going to add in a half a cup of flour. Yeah, it's been it's been quite an eventful day for me in that um, both of my can openers decided that they were going to quit on me today. And so, yep, the hand crank one and the electric one was not charging. And I was like, what the heck is going on? And so, I am It's very interesting, everybody. It's a very interesting day. But I'm getting it done, okay? So, I'm getting the flour out. And, um, so let's get, it says one half cup of flour. So let me get me a one half cup measuring cup here. spooning out one half cup of 
flower. Okay, one half cup of flour, two thirds cup of oats. So we get the oats out and I'll put the flour back where it belongs. And two thirds cup of oats. Okay, that's one third. That's two third cups of oats. And, and some cinnamon. It says I have a teaspoon, but I like some cinnamon in mine. Okay. So we'll put that much in there. And this is going to make a crumble. So it's going to mix up and become crumbly. And then, I get it to mix up really well in here. And make sure that all of this is mixed up. And I will uh, link the recipe down below. I'll write it out for you so that you have it. This is coming off of a recipe I found online, but I'm adding my own twist to it. And the reason is because I have the ingredients and I like them, so that is what I'm gonna do. And I was gonna put pecans in here, but instead, I am going to put already chopped up walnuts that I have, okay? That's gonna give me a chance to wash that container. And then the walnuts are now gonna be part of the crumble. It's going to go on top of the sweet potato casserole. The recipe calls for no nuts that I found online. But when I can, I like to add nuts into my meals because I have plenty of them. And so I'm going to bring you over here. And we're going to put this on top of the sweet potatoes here. And I'm just going to use my, oops, excuse me, excuse me, guys. I'm just going to use my hands to do it. And we're just going to crumble this right over the top. crazy morning this morning so I am gonna to have to get me some new can openers okay <laughs> there we go and this is now ready to go into the oven both of these are baked at 350 
And so I am washing my hands because I have to crumble all over my hands. Okay. And I will bring you back when they come out of the oven. All right, everyone, my contribution to the Thanksgiving feast has come out of the oven. This is the sweet potato casserole, and this is the green bean casserole. You guys be blessed because I know I am. I want y'all to see this. This is my Thanksgiving dinner. You can see that I have turkey. I have macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and a kind of seasoned rice for dinner tonight. And this is my Thanksgiving. You guys be blessed because I know I am.